This is a look at mosquito-borne virus activity across the Lone Star State. We got some dengue on there, some West Nile virus out there, but what's not on there is yellow fever. That has not been seen in the U.S. for more than a century. But as Channel 5 Christian Von Pricing reports, people tracking mosquito-borne diseases say the chances of seeing it here at the border are increasing. Across the valley, peak mosquito season is coming up. Over the next several weeks, conditions will be just right for breeding. And around the valley now, it's not hard to find tall grass, standing water. All that will help the mosquitoes breed. One medical doctor is worried conditions in countries south of us could lead to a resurgence of a virus we haven't seen in more than 100 years. We have not had yellow fever uh, on the Gulf Coast since 1905. Um, I'm concerned that in, in Latin America and Brazil and, and Venezuela, we've seen an uptick and spread to new areas. Dr. Peter Hotez, dean of the National School of Tropical Medicine at Baylor University, says over the last seven years, there have been yellow fever outbreaks in South American countries, increasing the odds the virus may spread across borders. Yellow fever, you know, in, in South America for the last few decades has been restricted to the Amazon region. Now we're starting to see it in more densely populated areas in southeastern Brazil. He says cities are expanding, the climate is getting warmer and wetter, and he says those are factors that promote mosquito growth. Here in South Texas, you know, yellow fever is not common. I'm not saying it's not going to happen, but we have seen an increase in malaria, which malaria is not common to us here in the valley. And of course, we have the annual cases of dengue and West Nile and chikungunya. Eddie Olivares, Chief Administrative Officer of Hidalgo County Health and Human Services, says cities, school districts, and the county will continue monitoring mosquito breeding. As we enter November and December, when mosquito-borne illness cases are the highest in this area. We are prepared. We do have a very good uh, grip of testing and trapping each of the cities. Actually, the, the state is already doing what they call the mosquito roundup. For now, a warning that conditions south of us are changing and a call to monitor the border communities. And I think it's one of the concerns that we have to take seriously. An early warning that a serious mosquito-borne virus is now more likely to spread. Christian Von Pricing, Channel 5 News.